Part 1 Questions and Model Answers Email 1. What kinds of emails do you receive about your work or studies? Answer, actually, I receive quite a lot of emails as part of my daily workflow. I have been working as an English teacher for 5 years, so most of the emails I get every day are from my students. They usually submit their homework, let me know that they won't be in class for some reasons or ask for my help with their English problems. 2. Do you prefer to email, phone or text your friends? Why? Answer, well, my friends and I text each other about trivial things or share funny memes almost every day. Emails are too formal and we don't usually use a phone either as it may be frustrating if one of us is in the middle of a conference. 3. Do you reply to emails and messages as soon as you receive them? Why, why not? Answer, sure, it depends on the situation. I always try to reply to emails and messages instantly once I've received them. But, for some important emails, I would spend time reading the content thoroughly and carefully drafting my reply before sending it to avoid regrettable mistakes. 4. Are you happy to receive emails that are advertising things? Why, why not? Answer, to be honest, no. I have to admit that it is really irritating to come across tons of spam emails and newsletters from online shops that I don't even know. Sadly, I cannot completely filter out all of those annoying emails from my inbox. Part 2 Questions and Model Answers Describe a hotel that you know. You should say, where this hotel is, what this hotel looks like, what facilities this hotel has and explain whether you think this is a nice hotel to stay in. Model answer, I would like to tell you about Dalat Palace Heritage Hotel, one of the best hotels I have stayed in recently. It is located right in the heart of Dalat, within a 15-minute drive of Tuyan Lam Lake and Dadan La Falls. This hotel is also a famous tourist attraction with a unique architectural style. I stayed at this hotel about a few weeks ago when my friends and I were visiting Dalat City, an ideal retreat destination for travelers looking to escape busy cityscape. We chose this hotel because it provided us with complimentary transportation to visit other spots nearby. Set in a private park with rows of pine trees and well-groomed flower beds, the surrounding poetic area of the hotel is perfect for those who want to immerse themselves in the tranquil atmosphere of forests. Known as the most popular accommodation among foreign visitors, the hotel features a wide range of amenities including a restaurant, a spa, free Wi-Fi and many high-class sports facilities. Every room in this hotel is elegantly decorated in classic French design, with a lot of beautiful paintings on the wall. The room we were staying in even overlooked a picturesque lake. I really love the experience we had at Dalat Palace Heritage Hotel. Its beauty and excellent service helped us ease my mind and enjoyed our trip more. Part 3 Questions Model Answers Discussions Topics Staying in Hotels 1. What things are important when people are choosing a hotel? Answer. I think the location should be the first priority when it comes to choosing a hotel to ensure a comfortable stay. I would suggest looking for hotels that are centrally located so that you can move around freely and conveniently. Besides, it is a great idea to check the room rates and read different reviews from experienced travelers. 2. Why do some people not like staying in hotels? Answer: Well, there are quite many reasons for this. In my view, the most common reason is the noisy atmosphere. Noises from guests in the next room or footsteps in the hallway can drive people crazy, especially introverts. Besides, some young people prefer cheap and friendly homestays rather than expensive hotel rooms. 3. Do you think staying in a luxury hotel is a waste of money? Answer: Well, I suppose it depends on the traveler's budget and also which part of the world they are traveling to. In some Asian countries, you do not have to pay a fortune to stay in a five-star hotel. Personally, I rarely choose to stay in a luxury hotel as most mid-scale ones can provide all the amenities I need. Working in a hotel point 1. Do you think hotel work is a good career for life? Answer: Almost certainly. I think youngsters can have many potential paths to choose from when working in the hospitality industry. They can encounter people from all walks of life and learn a lot of things under one roof. 2. How does working in a big hotel compare with working in a small hotel? Answer, obviously, when working in a big hotel, people may have to face more pressure and responsibility, but of course, the compensation and benefit package will be more generous. However, for those who thrive on variety, 
working in a small hotel can be a good chance to perform many different roles. 3. What skills are needed to be a successful hotel manager? Answer, I suppose a successful hotel manager should be a resourceful person who can solve problems quickly and efficiently because they may receive a lot of different requests as well as complaints from guests. In addition, a good manager should be considerate enough to understand the guests' needs and willingly do their best to support them. Thank you for your watching.